Hello and welcome to We Explain DeFi Chain. My name is Daniel and I will go on with the tutorial how to use the Like wallet. I hope you enjoy this format. If so, please give me a like and also subscribe to the channel and press the bell button so that you don't miss another episode in the future. And today we will have a look how to send and receive coins and token with the Light wallet. So let's jump in into the screen share. So here we are, different screen share. Now I have the Light wallet again. You see it on uh, the left side of the screen shares. On the right side, you see the old desktop wallet and a short overview of what we will do here. So first I want to receive DFI on my Light wallet. So starting the Light wallet will show you this a home screen and here you directly see your address and a button for receive. You can press it and then you will recognize a QR code. So if you have other smartphone device or a webcam, you can scan it. You can also just copy the address and then go to your desktop wallet or to your exchange where you have or where you want to transfer the DFI and put in the address and I want to move one DFI again to the wallet. Press continue here and then we have to wait for a block on the blockchain that the transaction is confirmed and the light wallet will see the additional DFI. Okay, here we are. Now we see the DFI was sent and we have now three DFI on the light wallet. Now we go to the step back means how can I send DFI from my light wallet to another address, for example, exchange or back to my desktop wallet. Here you see I have 43.5 uh, DFI on my desktop wallet and now I can press here for sending DFI and I can um, Put in the wallet address. I have it in my clipboard and the amount. So I want to send half of my funds, 1.5 DFI. You will directly see here that you cannot send the complete DFI amount. A small UTXO amount should remain in your wallet for paying the fees. You also see here the estimated fee. So it's very, very low on DeFi chain and pressing continue will send this transaction signed with your private key to a node uh, in the internet and they will add it to the blockchain. So in the background there's no node on your smartphone, you're just signing messages, sending to a node and they will handle it. So here I want to send 1.5 DFI to the address of my desktop wallet, I confirm it will need some time. Ah, the passcode is needed. Because without the passcode, nobody can do anything with your wallet. They just see your funds, but cannot do anything. Okay, transactions authorized. So it was the right passcode. It is now um, sent and uh, we are waiting for the transaction. Okay. After minting a block, you see here transaction completed and on the desktop wallet side, you see the funds have changed again and you see the transactions also here. 1.5 DFI were received on my desktop wallet. Okay, third step. How can you receive tokens with your light wallet? It is often a question from users handling the desktop wallet because there you see the different tokens and go there, create a new receive address and maybe on the light wallet side you miss this feature because you only have this one address. So you can also use it for token. So here I go again, press the copy button to get the receiving address of the light wallet and I swapped uh, one DFI to a D ether. And this should be sent to the light wallet. So here I put in the amount, press max amount 
and continue. So we have to wait again. Next block must be minted because otherwise we will not see anything on the light wallet. So the block was minted. Now we see the uh, Ethereum on the DeFi chain on our light wallet and the balance on our desktop wallet is zero. So the funds in form of tokens were moved from the desktop to the light wallet. It's also possible for liquidity token, DBTC and every other token on DeFi chain, not from outside. So please be careful, you cannot send Ethereum from the Ethereum blockchain to the light wallet directly, but in the ecosystem of DeFi chain, you can transfer every token to the light wallet as you like. Okay, and last point, a little bit the handling of DeFi scan and your current balance. You can click here this shortcut and it will directly forward it to DeFiScan.live. Um, I will not use here my mobile device. I will switch now to another screen share with uh, my browser on the PC. So it's a little bit better for the overview what's happening here. Okay, here we are on the browser uh, screen share. DeFiScan.live is the page. And now I can enter here my address of the Light Wallet and search what happened here. So regarding this address, you see a short overview. What's the current balance? I have this one point, nearly five DFI. I also have this ether position in my wallet and a couple of transactions were made with this new uh, wallet. And if you remember in the first clip, I sent one DFI to the wallet just to show that restoring the wallet with the uh, passphrase is successful. And if I press here, you see the details of this transaction. So I send one DFI to the address. You see also when it happened, um, uh, how many confirmations were now done, the block height, and so on, and so on. So going back is still our wallet. It's a very good tool still in the development. You see it here, um, work in progress. So they are adding more and more information. And the goal is here to have a complete overview of your address. And I like this page uh, because you can see every detail happened uh, with your light wallet. And in the next episode with the liquidity mining and the DEX, I also show how they represent this on DeFi scan. So we are at the end of this short episode uh, on how to use the Light Wallet. It's just a receive and send of DFI and token. It's uh, pretty easy, uh, just a few buttons. And uh, in the next episode, I will have a deeper look on the DEX, how you can swap uh, coins and tokens, and also how you can participate on the liquidity mining. And um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have still some questions, please let me know in the comments so I can add them or answer them in future episodes. And I would say thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode and bye bye.